Welcome. Your presence here is no coincidence. It marks the beginning of a meaningful connection designed to deliver a powerful message from Apostle Joshua Selman right to your doorstep. The things stand in your way, not allowing you to experience speed. I lift my hands to the God of our covenant and I declare it must clear out of the way right now for you. It must clear out of the way now for you. Every enchantment, katapotoskotoba, every divination, every covenant, activities of familiar spirits sitting on your destiny and will not let you move. In the name of Jesus, I move it for your sake. I move it for your sake. I move it for your sake. Anybody that plans evil for you, in the name of Jesus, what happened to Haman will happen to them. I say it again, digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Not to a hearer, that if you found your way to this place, or you are connected in the name of Jesus, you must carry a potent testimony tonight. Back home. You must carry a potent testimony tonight. Back home. In the name of Jesus. Testimonies are real. Testimonies are real. They are manifestations of the hand of God. The visitations of God. By his word, through his spirit. In the life of his people. Are you ready for a change of story? You are going to cry. I will list out the prayer points and you will pray. It's part of the miracle service. You hear the word of the Lord. Every pain. Every pain. Let it be gone now. Every pain. Pain around your chest. Pain around your, your back for someone. The lumbar area. Let that pain be gone now. Pain around the limbs. Be healed now. For someone, you have severe pain. I'm seeing someone pain around your right ear. Be healed right now. Your hands, severe pain. This has happened now for days for someone. Be healed right now. Shout a believing amen. There's someone you have a very severe pain around your rib area. I'm not sure if you've gone to the hospital for tests, but in the name of Jesus, the Lord is bringing you healing right now. Amen. Bringing you healing right now. Amen. Now every pain, whether I mentioned it or not, I decree and declare be healed now. Amen. I'm hearing the name Christova. Who is Christova? I'm hearing a name Christova. Christova, I'm going to minister deliverance right now. Christova. Is there someone with such a name? Christova. God wants to set you free. Christova. Who is Martha? Martha. M-A-R-T-H. Martha. Who is Christova? Please don't come out at random. If it's not your, if don't feel bad. If it's not, don't worry. Everybody will receive you. Hallelujah. Christova. Bring for me the gentleman that shouts now under the anointing. Loud. Please pick him and bring him to the front. A gentleman, not a lady. Your name is Christova. What do you do? I'm a student. I'm a student. Huh? Come again. NDLEA, sir. NDLEA. NDLEA. Yes. I'm going to pray for you, Christova. Yes. The Lord wants to do a miracle in the life of Christova. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. I just saw light, the ladies. One of you, the anointing of the Spirit is coming upon you. Martha. I'm hearing the name Martha. I curse that oppression of darkness. Let her go now. Yeah. 
Christopher, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. Let the spirit of death over the family of Christopher in the name that is above all names. Whatever is programming an obituary over the family of Christopher, it dies now in the name of Jesus. Dies now in the name of Jesus. Is there anyone with the name Maimuna? That should be a Hausa, a northern name. I'm hearing Maimuna. I want to pray for you. If you find such a person, we have to be very fast. Christopher, you, the spirit of death over the family of Christopher, I come against it right now. I declare you will live and not die. You will live and not die. You will live and not die. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know, I presume there might be a number of people, but there's a gentleman here, they call you Junior. Junior, what's your name? Junior. They call you Junior. Junior. Yes, yes. Look at me, where are you from? Benway State. Benway State. I need to pray for you, because I'm seeing your leg swelling, and I'm wondering what is swelling this leg. Don't be afraid, I'm not a prophet of doom. Stand up, my friend. Junior, they call you Junior. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over this gentleman. The Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. As I'm praying for him, I'm praying for you. Anybody that plans evil for you, in the name of Jesus, what happened to Haman will happen to them. I say it again, digging a pit for you to fall. May they fall into that same pit. Fall into that same pit. Fall into that same in the name of Jesus Christ. Who works in UBA, United Bank for Africa? UBA. I can imagine that there might be many people who are staff here who works in UBA. We have to be very fast. Please don't tell lies. Make sure that you are serious. We are not playing games. Please, UBA. Okay, the ladies, huh? in the name of Jesus, now I'll pray for you. Father, my dear, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! I decree and declare everything the devil has planted in your stomach, I declare that it lives now forever. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus. You be a, I'm praying for you. There is something that God wants to do in that bank. And there are a few people who are going to be mightily lifted. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you. The favor that needs to rest upon you in UBA. I release that grace upon you. That as they are looking for people to lift. Because you have come here tonight. May my God honor you. What God says to one, he says to all. God has spoken to us that it's a season of reward. May it be so for you. I'm saying it to you again. Be lifted in a way that will surprise you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You return to your seat rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is opening my eyes. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria. I wanted to bring those people out. And the Lord is taking me to Kogi State. There is a spirit. When God shows me this, now he begins to minister to people who belong to those regions. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. But right now I'm praying, even as God has shown me, everyone who comes from that region and has been tied down, bring them out by witchcraft, or any orchestration of darkness since God has revealed it in the name that is above all names I silence those spirits now <laughs> I silence those spirits now please bring them out very quickly the Bible says even the lawful captives shall be delivered I'm praying for everybody but I saw 
the map of Kogi state in the name that is above all names every evil that dwells within that region plaguing men by the blood of the eternal covenant all who are connected to that set that territory be set free this moment be set free this moment be set free this moment in the name of Jesus who is from Gombe State Gombe State Gombe State will be Northeast I don't know why God is speaking to me now about Gombe State in the name that is above all names Gombe State mighty deliverance is coming to someone Gombe State the Lord is showing me that there is a spirit that keeps men and never allows them to rise by the power that raised Christ from the dead Gombe State Pali Shopraskima Hashandala Korako Sevreskiata Kradisko Severento Sevrediskiata Granishana Malako Sabradigeberiata Let fire from heaven rest upon everyone who has been plagued by spirits within that state I set you free now 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 the powers that reside within those regions trapping destinies trapping lives I declare by the word of the Lord be free now be free now be free now you may not be from this region but anyone whose region is the reason why you are kept down I release you go forward now Go forward now. Go forward now. For it is written that even the lawful captives shall be delivered. My dear people from Gombe State, God has come to you. Receive that visitation now. Every family that has been tied down, every great destiny that will not emerge, I say it again. It doesn't matter in what way it is appearing. Joblessness, barrenness, troubles in home. I declare be delivered now. Please hear me. Some of you are standing not only for yourself. I want to pray for families here. Whole families that have been tied down. It looks like Every altar sitting on the Gapagosh Kadikata, sitting on the glory of any family. If I be sent by God, I stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. May fire fall upon that altar now. May fire fall upon that altar. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Release their destinies now. I saw the word limitation and I just shrugged it off I kept praying and then I saw it the second time limitation and the third time I saw it limitation when God begins to emphasize something like that he's telling you that someone is on his way to church already and this is the embargo that the devil has placed over his life over his destiny maybe someone has come here for the first time asking questions and saying Lord is this how my life will continue to be I love you but it looks like something is sitting upon my destiny to limit means to stop people from seeing the fullness of a thing to limit means to reduce the potential of that thing it may not mean to stop it there's a difference between limitation and stagnation stagnation means you are in one place limitation means you are not moving fast enough and if you don't move fast enough with respect to time there are some things that will not happen listen please I want you to pay attention this is the house of God and when God speaks like this it is because someone's destiny has been crawling and you need to experience the grace of God whether you are outside whether you are inside listen when a word comes and it is for you don't just assume no there, there is an attitude that you used to receive the word with limitations I'm going to pray for you right now we'll just take 10 minutes from my preaching time and let me just deal with these issues once and for all over our lives for as long as we are alive let me tell you 
and this anointing God has given us, that which represents limitation in your life, ba, it, we must crush it to its knees. I'm about to pray now, and I want you to please bring those people under the anointing now that the power of God comes upon. In the name of Jesus, every family, every individual, every destiny that has been tied down by altars of limitation so that you will not move forward. Maybe you are a mother, maybe you are a father, maybe you are a man of God, maybe you are a businessman, maybe you are coming here for the first time, watching online, and it looks like there are altars that have vowed that you will not move forward. I stand by this mantle. I have been anointed by God to declare your liberty. Right now, may the power of God come upon you. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment, altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment, altars of limitation. You come under arrest. This moment, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth in one minute and begin to declare. I declare my release. Every limitation, no matter how long, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant. Is someone praying? Those following online, I release that anointing upon you from America to Europe to Nigeria parts of Africa I declare may the anointing of the spirit touch you right in your room in your office right now I set you free yokes of limitation be delivered now every chain that has tied your hand and tied your feet hold on please listen we are still praying in Acts chapter 12 watch this now when Peter was in the prison they tied two parts of his body number one his hands that's a symbol of your productivity number two your feet that is the symbol of your advancement. They didn't tie his mouth. They didn't tie his eyes. But they tied his hand and his feet. And the Bible says they bound him. That means to bind a man. It is not every part of him you need to tie. If you can tie his productivity and tie the basis for his advancement, that man is bound. Let me release someone by the anointing of the spirit. I declare your hands spiritually. My God, fire is coming on people's hands now. These hands that have not been released. Maybe your father's hand was tied and all through his lifetime, he lived a miserable life. Maybe your mother's hand was tied. Some of you, the hands of your siblings, I come holding the key of David, given by the God of heaven himself. In the name of Jesus, may those chains be loose from your hands. Loose from your feet. Loose from your hands. Loose from your feet. Loose from your hands. Shapakatoskata. Loose from your feet. Man of God, I release you. It's time for your ministry to open up. I release you. Apostle, prophet, teacher, Makatosh Keteketa. Every altar sitting on your ministry. Every altar sitting on your ministry. Be released now. When Jesus was buried, it was not just enough that he was put in a tomb. The Bible said a stone was used to 
over that place so when Jesus resurrected it was not just enough to come out to rise from the dead that stone needed to be rolled away so he would come out same thing happened with Lazarus let me roll away any stone when it was time for Lazarus to come back to life ay, ay, ay. let me speak to someone everything dead in your life hear the word of the Lord Talita Kumi come alive come alive come alive every mantle every door of favor every opportunity that has been closed over your destiny everything that has died hear the word of the lord your influence your relevance come back to life now come back to life now he says son of man can these bones live again he said only thou knowest he said prophesy i want to prophesy Oh, bones can come back to life. Dead businesses can come back to life. Dead spiritual dimensions. You used to have dreams, prophetic encounters. You used to pray for hours. But now something has happened to your life. May that fire come upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Many are going to receive an impartation of favor now. I just sense that fire on my hands. Father, as many who are tired of going around in circles and have not experienced favor, I stretch my hands. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. Let it rest on you. Paris Keparuta Siata. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. Let it turn your life around. Let it turn your life around. In the name of Jesus. There are spirits that have tied men. There are spirits that have stopped destinies from going forward. They have not just attacked people because they are individuals. They have ravaged families. They have ravaged destinies. You can see their signature all over families. I'm about to make a decree right now. I see the fire of God just spreading everywhere. Whether inside or outside, as much as you can, I want you to bring those people here right now. You're not going to shout. I will speak. And then by the power of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> let it come to an end now. let it come to an end now oppressions causes patterns that have tied destinies i'm saying it again please bring them out let it come to an end now by the fire of the spirit of god anyone here under the sound of my voice you are a victim of household wickedness you are a victim of territorial spirits familiar spirits orchestrations of darkness tying you tying your loved ones right now be free be free be free be free be free be free i set you free by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare be free right now be free for you and your children be free for you and your loved ones be free for you and your brothers and sisters be free in the name of jesus i'm seeing a word misfortune misfortune these are calamities that plague people you get up in the morning and something evil must happen by the time it is evening i pray for you i don't know who that person is but let the power of god wherever you are spirits causing misfortune aborting prophetic opportunities be set free now be set free now be set free now 
My God, fire is burning in this place. Be set free now. Be set free now. The plague of negative occurrences, negative patterns around your life, negative patterns. It happened to grandfather. It happened to father. Now it's happening to you. In the name of Jesus, those patterns are broken now. 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 In the name of Jesus. The spirit of delay tying people in one place my god fire is resting on people now delay over jobs delay over god's prophetic word you are going to shout jesus and as you shout that name anyone who has been a victim of delay your deliverance comes now are you ready one two three shout jesus Rakata pakata pas, rapa kapa rakato pates, rapa kapa 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 rakatos. Now, in the name of Jesus, if there is any priesthood servicing any altar against you, whether by reason of where you come from, that means there are human beings alive who continue to fuel those altars. Manikesh Shabarata. Ebre katos katia, makabras kata, latos shenekete, embre kete barata. In the name of Jesus, I bring to an end the reign of such priesthoods. Their enchantments will no longer work like the prophets of Baal. They will not receive any answers again. We shut the realm of the spirit against them. We shut the power of the sun against them. We shut the power of the wind against them. We shut the power of the earth against them. In the name of Jesus. Every medium of expression ceases to work for them. If there is anyone here having any infirmity in your body, that has defied medical attention and you know that this is a direct result of witchcraft right now in the name of jesus that sickness leaves your body now help them please that sickness leaves your body now high blood pressure diabetes hepatitis in aparish kotebata it leaves your body now lumps and growths in your body demonic things that have defied some of you have had surgeries again and again and it will not go i curse it now in the name of jesus hear me every experience of seeing dead people come to harass you my bible says that the living and the dead have nothing in common there are times you may have encounters with the spirits of just men made perfect but that does not bring oppression in the name of jesus the system that authorizes familiar spirits to use the faces of men and oppress you and plant all kinds of things in your body and your destiny it is broken now it is broken now father I stand by the privilege of priesthood first over our global family and then the body of Christ by the privilege of the election of grace please help those under the anointing I have declared your word and Lord I know that this works based on the integrity of your word Lord, we have cried in repentance before you individually.
territorially and even as touching bloodlines and foundations we have committed ourselves to serve only you the one true God father your people and all of us together are about to lay down sacrifices some in cash some in kind in whatever means Lord you are not a scammer you are not a fraudster we men of God may have made merchandise out of these principles and we repent for it but Lord we cry in the name of Jesus and I pray by the privilege of spiritual leadership and priesthood that everyone under the sound of my voice may fire fall upon your sacrifice may fire fall upon your sacrifice may fire fall upon your sacrifice let every demonic spirit witness your sacrifice and witness the fire that falls upon it in the name of Jesus Christ for everything you are connecting to this sacrifice mani shala skebarato ziata whether as individuals as a couple as a business in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God I decree and declare may the heavens be opened over that issue in the name of Jesus everything that has refused to walk in your life I command it to begin to walk now by reason of your sacrifice I make this prophetic declaration all doors open all doors open all doors open i stand upon the grace of our fathers in this nation as i have received by grace and by the privilege of the mercy of god i stand upon their personal altars with god and we stand in agreement under that grace i decree and declare in the name of jesus judgment upon every wickedness judgment upon everything connected to ancestry by your sacrifice in the name of jesus christ hear me anyone here appointed to death i decree and declare when death comes let it meet your sacrifice when limitation comes let it meet your sacrifice when failure comes let it meet your sacrifice it will never be that you gave and went down please hear me i decree and declare for every one child who has gone wayward who is giving any parent headache or tears by reason of your sacrifice may the angel of the lord fish them back to the cross from america to europe to nigeria everyone who is lost every spouse who is not saved every child who is not saved every woman everyone connected to any family that is yet to encounter jesus they will not die till they have found jesus hallelujah now please hear me if there is anything that you may have done personally with your own life that has created an accusation in the realm of the spirit that the devil might want to use against you and your children's children in the name of Jesus by the blood of the lamb the word of your testimony and even this sacrifice let it be blotted out now let it be blotted out now let it be blotted out now finally I pray for you you have taken from your resources you have taken from whatever to give on to God I decree and declare the storehouses are portioned for you that have been blocked by all kinds of demonic hindrances I declare them open like a flood now open like a flood now may strangers arise and come to you you will not beg you will not borrow 
in the name of Jesus Christ hear me for some of you by reason of this program tonight you will start having very strange angelic encounters by reason of this meeting tonight there is a restoration of dreams a restoration of visions a restoration of encounters please hear me if there is any physical planting in any house any village whatever was taken whether your name was taken to any shrine or whatever in the name of Jesus Christ we declare that devil catches fire now whether you are asleep whether you are awake anybody that tries to build any altar to fight you i stand prophetically they will go down instantly and anybody who has vowed that for as long as i am alive this family will not rise this family will not know peace in the name of jesus I declare the righteous judge by the power that raised Christ from the dead he will silence such devils in Jesus name but some, there are many of you here between this night and tomorrow morning I decree and declare by the power of prophecy some of you will return back home and you will meet here some testimonies waiting for you I'm not motivating you there is an anointing that will make this come to pass i declare it over your life in jesus name and hear me anybody that fights you from today i declare by the decree of the watchers they go down instantly any man who says over his dead body for you to rise may the ground open and swallow them for the lord of peace himself will give you peace by all means in the name of jesus i declare that your families are protected every church here represented as the body of christ rise to a new level in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you and the lord increase you in jesus name i pray give jesus a big hand clap i decree and i declare by the power that raised christ from the dead may this grace for favor rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ i shift systems and structures for your sake by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic i shift you to a new season in the name of jesus christ hear me everything that has refused to work in your life go back after tonight i command it to begin to walk i command it to begin to walk i command it to begin to walk by the power of the holy spirit now hear me there are people the fire upon your altar has gone down it was not like this this was not how you started with god right now i ignite that altar let fresh fire may that altar catch fire now and begin to burn in the name of jesus the bible says all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made i want to pray for you i stretch my hands that anointing now take that grace now in the name of jesus christ you will never never be the same i ignite you that fire the grace of an intercessor indeed you will pray Let me declare the grace for favor there is such an anointing for the favor of god don't reject it 
favor will give you an edge in life and give you the time to seek God and serve him acceptably I stretch my hands right now there's a strong anointing right now that grace is coming upon you to help them take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ across the nations of the earth may they find you they will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of Jesus anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach may my God by his hand upon your life may he vindicate you this season Koinonia, anyone called barren, prepare for your children coming. I say it again, anyone called barren, this is the year you carry your children. Please, of your people, let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Are you releasing your faith with me? Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Miracles of fruitfulness. Miracles of advancement. Miracles of restoration. Miracles of strength. Job opportunities. Marital open doors. Celebration of children. Twins and triplets and quadruplets. Opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires restoration of marriages restoration of sick people some of you have lost money you have lost opportunities we command restoration strategic relationships that you have lost may god restore koinonia shout amen may god restore what happened to esther that lifted her may it happen to you Ah, someone who has faith to believe what happened to Esther that took her from Shushan to the palace may it happen to you what happened to Ruth may it happen to you what happened to Abraham that caused Abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources may it happen to you what happened to Gideon that empowered him to lead an army may it happen to you what happened to Lot on account of his connection with Abraham? May it happen to you. Anyone here appointed unto death that according to the plan of hell that this is your last miracle service that by the next one you would have been buried I cancel that statement. We cancel that statement. Cancel that statement. For you and your spouse, cancelled. For you and your children, cancelled. For you and your parents, cancelled. I am confident that the sermons you've immersed yourself in have served as a wellspring of blessings, uplifting your life and instilling a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve God. We extend a warm invitation for you to become a subscriber to our YouTube channel. By activating the notification bell, you ensure that you remain connected and never miss any of our upcoming videos. Your subscription signifies more than a mere click. It represents a pledge to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled journey with us as our channel aspires to be a haven for both spiritual seekers and devoted believers. We ardently believe in the transformative power of God's Word and our objective is to share messages that deeply resonate with your soul. Join our community, subscribe, and allow the radiant light of divine wisdom to illuminate your path. We express our gratitude for your integral role in this uplifting journey, and we pray that God's abundant blessings overflow in your life. Amen. Stay connected with us on all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel. And feel free to explore our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Thank you. And may God abundantly bless you.